Hi everyone, my name is Andy Klein. I've invented what I believe is a new to the world tool. Well, that was a year ago. It's been a full year since I released the video of the drawer making blade that got everybody excited and I've hardly talked about it since then. So it's past time for me to get a good update out. Um, so what's been happening? Well, immediately after that video a year ago, there was a lot of interest and I was able to sign up with a partner that wanted to license the idea. Now this is a retailer and a distributor, excellent partner. I'm not quite ready to say who it is yet, uh, but over the past year we have been working on the design, the manufacturing, getting all the details right, uh, and getting the price point right so that this is really going to be a valuable offering for the market. And it's taken, it's taken time. That's not an easy thing to do. Um, but we're getting real close. And some of you might know the patent process. I had, with a provisional patent that I filed a year ago, I had a full year to file the full utility patent. We have done that, so this is still patent pending. Everything is going forward, it's looking good. Hopefully I'll have a lot more details to share in the next couple months. Um, so hang in there just a little while longer. We've got it almost to the finish line. So while we're on the subject of the blade, I wanted to address a few frequently asked questions. Um, first and foremost, I think about half the comments on that blade video were, why don't you do a Kickstarter and just bring this to market? Uh, so the delay in any kind of update is, is your answer on that. Even with an excellent partner, uh, it's taken over a year to get this to market. It's not an easy thing to do. The prototype blade, this was not ready just to be sold. Um, it was great to demonstrate the proof of concept and, and uh, show everybody how it could work, but this would have been expensive and not user-friendly and problematic in several ways. This needs to be sharpenable. The diameter to the dado stack is, is an issue. You saw me run into that with the first video. Uh, another, a number of other nuances in, in the uh, design would have prevented me from just taking this to market. You wouldn't have been happy. So it needed to be refined. Um, and I needed a partner to, to really do that. Uh, second most common question is, that's nice and all, why not just use a V-bit router like, like this right here on a router table and just cut a V and fold it up that way? And before just firing off an answer, I actually wanted to try this. Um, so first of all, this, that bit I just uh, held in front of the camera, 30 bucks or so, that isn't going to work because it doesn't come to a sharp point. So you end up with a joint like this, which is no good. You need something that really comes to a, a sharp corner. Uh, so I, I actually went ahead and bought a, a custom, um, well not a custom, this is off, off the shelf, but it's much more expensive, uh, route a bit meant to do this exact operation. And this was like a hundred bucks. It looks like this. So that comes to a nice sharp point. So you're already not talking about a cheap alternative. You know, this is a pretty expensive bit. Um, and when I, when I went to use it, I ran into a couple problems. First of all, when I pass the plywood over the bit, it has a tendency to try to lift up. Um, so I actually had to hand plane some of these joints just to get them to come together. Now with the right hold downs and, and some experience, you probably could get around this. It's not the end of the world. And if you're using a CNC, obviously it couldn't go anywhere. The table's underneath it. Um, but it was a bit of an issue for me. Uh, secondly, and I think most importantly, um, when I fold up the sides of a drawer with my blade, those, those sides lock into each other and they can't slide past and you get extra glue surface area as compared to the router bit where it's just um, just a, a V cut and those slides can slide past each other. So in the glue up I had trouble getting everything to line up. It's not nearly as easy just to do this glue up. Now again with some jigs and some experience uh, you could probably find ways around this. Um, you're never going to have as much glue surface area but all in all I think the blade is, is significantly superior just because it cuts faster, easier, and the glue up is easier and simpler just because those sides lock in. Um, so that's the primary reason why I think this is superior to 
just a 90 degree V-bit on a router. Um, and plus the fact that this is really not all that cheap. I mean, this is, this is an expensive bit. So anyway, that's the story on the frequently asked questions. Um, hopefully it won't be long before I can share more details, uh, the exact specifics of the design and who my partner is and, and someday I'll be able to say there's a link in the description and you can go ahead and, and uh, buy it. Uh, that, that'll be a happy day for me. I'm smiling just thinking about it. It's taken a long time getting there. Um, I'm really excited uh, to bring this across the finish line. So wish me luck and I'll tell you more just as soon as I can. Thanks everyone.